welcome back guys to the channel. Um, we are back. <laughs> Just left Droitwich Basin. Yeah, it took a bit to turn us to get yeah. us out, but we got out. Uh, a lot of boats in there at the moment. Like, yeah, we showed up first. And then <laughs> about 20 minutes after making the outro, a Diamond Resorts boat showed up and moored up right next to us. Literally not on the other pontoon, like literally right next to us. So Josh said, I think I want to move. Yeah, because we were on near the water point, so I said, oh, we're a bit near the water point, aren't we, Dad? We're a bit near the water point. So we moved, but they're a really nice family. I felt yeah, a bit really, bad. Yeah, really, really nice. Um, but and we then, just... And then ABC boats turned up right next yeah. to us when we moved. What's the yeah. point when, um, you know, when we go in there, well, there's so many spaces they could have chose from, and they chose more next to us. <laughs> then we moved, and then <laughs> the next day, we went shopping yesterday, came back, miserable, horrible day. <laughs> um, and then uh, about six o'clock, two more boats show up, and they're more right next to us. They're together, I think. About loads of cloud kids and stuff. And yeah. Everything. It wasn't nice. They but went there's to a swing the pub bridge now, no, straight away. <laughs> uh, are we more in here? You said because we don't. Well, Waitrose wait wait is just there, so. And then we can do the bridge when everyone gets back. Okay. Is it here we're going to stop? So yeah. if Mum goes straight away now, I don't know. Yeah. Here we are. That's scraping the boat because it's a stupid. So here we go, leaving Droitwich Basin. It's a bit of a tricky manoeuvre to get out of here, um, as we're so long. And funny enough, we actually block a couple of the pontoons to the left of us. I wonder what this used to be. I'm sure one of you would tell me. In hindsight, we should have filled up on water here, because as we come to see, the other two water points do not come to fruition. This is a very annoying stretch through Droitwich Centre. It has four swing bridges, three of which you need to swing. Dad takes the bikes off the roof because we're going under a very, very low bridge today. Luckily, for some reason, we don't need to do this one. What is the point in it then? <laughs> Wait here at the third swing bridge for Mum to come out of Waitrose. This is one of those very, very annoying locks. There's one of this on the Grand Union with the swing bridge right in the middle, but at least this one doesn't have a pub outside. And this isn't really a lock, it's only a lock when the river level rises, but because it's so low at the moment we don't need to empty it. Some bits, well, we needed some bits for dinner tonight, so Mum had to quickly run over to Waitrose while I <laughs> open the swing bridges um, for Dad. And yeah, we all had our rolls. Dad got the bikes off of the roof. I just put them on the front deck for now. So we're going under the M5 bridge, which is extremely low. Yeah, let's everything's hope. off that I can get off the roof. Six foot, really, that's sticking up. Yeah. Luckily, the, ro the river is low at the moment, so fingers yeah. crossed. The GoPro might need to come. <laughs> as we were saying, yeah, we stayed in Droitwich Basin for about a night, two nights, one day. Um, it's Thursday now. It's Thursday or Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Monday we got um, there. Yeah, it's been a pretty wet all day so far. But the showers have stopped now and the sun's come out. And it's about 18 degrees. It's lovely, beautiful. Yeah. Look at that Robin Sweaty. Bush. Yeah, nice. Um, Beautiful at the moment. Yeah, I got a bit busy in a basement, so we were yeah. excited to leave. Um, it's only 48 hours anyway, yeah. so we had to leave. Mm. What else? Um, Told them about the car, didn't we? We've got to wait uh, for that Thursday. Nobody does anything else. Um, so yeah, we're going to the M5 bridge, which is really low. Yeah. Well, we're think. going on to worried about. the Worcester and Birmingham today, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. And we're heading down towards Worcester, but we're not going to do the circular route now. I've decided not to do that now. The mid <laughs> Worcestershire ring, come back onto the seven, back up onto the Droitwich because 
That was a bloody nightmare, I don't really fancy doing that again. Um, <laughs> so instead, uh, we're going to go partly down the Birmingham Worcestershire, as close to Worcester we can get, uh, before it gets urbanised, me and Mum can stay there for a few days, and then we're going to turn around at the nearest Winding Hole, and come back the other way and head up towards um, Birmingham. Again. Yes. Uh, hopefully for the last time. Yeah. For, a <laughs> for a long time probably. Yeah, yeah, we had to come through Droitwich Centre and it's not very boat friendly. I don't don't ask me why you need four swing bridges <laughs> to cross the same, I don't know, what, two hundred metre section? And the thing is in that last lock, it's got a swing bridge in the middle of the lock yeah. that you have to Just open. like on the Grand Union. I can't remember what, where it was, but And we didn't it that it won't let part. you open the gates wide. I think it's to stop wide beams coming through. Yeah. And that's what um, we think, because that's the last wide lock, and then it goes back to short locks, now, or narrow locks. Now. This is the Carmage River. And it was on. all on our um, the same level, mm. so we didn't even have to do the paddles, which was good. Yeah, we are on the River Salwap Sol Sol now, just for a little bit, from that lock to this lock, obviously because they had needed to divert um, the canal when they restored it onto the river. Um, so. That can be a problem if there's really high uh, levels of water fall because you could either be stuck at the River Seven side and this little tiny river section here which you need to navigate. If it gets too high you can't get mm. under the M5. <laughs> also yeah. that's what they said as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. We keep saying so yeah. I don't know why we keep saying so yeah. Everyone says so yeah. <laughs> this is we have noticed that actually. There, yeah, we're under the little the River Sower. All right. Yes. Um, enjoy the rest of the cruise. Us. Hopefully, we get under the M5. Oh. We see. We've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven locks to do. Just done one, so that's eight. Eight locks to do today. Um, and yes, that's it. <laughs> Originally, the canal came off the river here to the right of this building and went out through there. So it was only on the River Solop for about 300 metres. I'll let you know where the original route joins back up to the new route. Here we go, this is the extremely low M5 tunnel. At the moment the tunnel is about six foot high because the water level is very low, but it can be just three and a half foot. This is by far the lowest bridge and tunnel we've ever been under. I know there is one shorter than this though, Frog Hall Tunnel, and that's said to be about five foot. But someone said that a Black Prince has gone through Frog Hall Tunnel before. But if you've taken a Black Prince boat through there before, let us know, because I want to know. We've got one single lock and a staircase lock of two. The original locks would have been to our right. Just opposite the entrance to the marina is where the original course joined back up to the new one. Usually I can hop the gates but for some reason I couldn't hop this one so Dad had to just slightly push it open. I know, I know, we're not allowed to do that. But it was very, very lightly. 
These set locks are very unusual in that you have to use the pounds first before you use the ground paddles. And it's a bit like Watford locks on the Grand Union. First you open the pond paddles and all the water comes out there and equalizes and it stops in the lock so you know when to open the ground paddles. So we're done guys, we've done um, the joint Rich Junction, don't really have a name for these locks, they're just numbered. We've done all the locks on the joint Rich, and we've done the joint Rich Canal, this is it. Yeah, it's the last a beautiful canal, here. we loved it. Yeah, lovely, nowhere to moor. Right. Right, right hand turn, um, Clive, isn't it? Yeah, right hand turn of it. Why is there a holiday boat? Where, oh. Hmm. Oh, right wonders never cease. We've got to do a right, right hand turn now yeah, and there's right, a holiday boat right this there. Really tight this is. Um, Hardly any room here. Yeah, we're going to go by the Eagle Sun. Oh jeez! Eagle on the top. Hold on guys, hold on. It's really tight. Um, the... It's really tight. Jesus. Is it? Why are you shouting at us? This isn't the corner yet, is it though? I can't believe it's right corner, we've got to go that way. Yes, yeah, right around there, man. Look how much room I've got each side. Film it. Okay, Andy, why are you shouting at us, darling? What? I can't believe it. I've never been through one this tight. Um, so we might hit the ABC boat that is more than two now. Yeah, the truck. I think you can more there, it does say you can more. The volunteers are lovely. Mm. Uh, anyway, yeah. Done all the locks. Those are locked. Got underneath the M5 somehow. Just by like one inch over the GoPro. The GoPro was the highest thing. Yeah, about one inch. And it's just starting to drizzle now. It's good. But yeah, we're on the uh, on the Worcester and Birmingham canal now, guys. Yeah. We're heading south towards Worcester, just for a little detour. Um, while Dad goes away again. I'm going to struggle to turn. No, we're not. Why do I always film at such awkward moments? <laughs> we are getting round, but that the higher boat's just there, so it's made it very awkward for us. It's alright, we'll do it though, right, we'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to go down the burn washer for a couple of miles, no locks, and we're going to get some water. And more outside of Oddingly. Oddingly? Yeah. And hopefully the car will be ready tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully the car's ready, otherwise we've got a ride, and then we've got to ride back and yeah. take it again. Alright guys, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> You may be wondering what the hell these wide beams doing here because this is by no means a wide canal. Well they're craned in and sold here at Hanbury Wharf. They probably would have been 120 grand when we bought our boat but now you're probably looking at 200 odd. This blue one here is a 70 foot wide beam. We struggle enough with a 70 foot narrow boat. Unfortunately Wednesday is the only day that Hanbury Wharf is closed. On the Nicholson Guide and on the CRT map, it says there's a water point here, but there has never been a water point here. So it's a subscriber opposite, and he said, No, oh, there's never been a water point here, mate. There's one down at Dumhamstead. Okay, let's go to Dumhamstead then, shall we? It started raining, so we moored up and had lunch. But as we went to set off, two more boats came.
Oh, and what do you know? This one's closed. I don't know how long this water point has been closed, but this sign certainly wasn't made yesterday. Now you can see why we should have got water at Troy Ridge Basin. We are moored up now. <laughs> lovely spot here. We are near. Yes, yeah, it's got lovely solar. We, Josh? Tiny little, uh, it's a tiny little village or hamlet called Oddingley. The Oddingley church. Yeah, Oddingley. Yeah. Oddingley. Yeah. It's a nice house next to it as well. Lovely, beautiful spot. Uh, Hopefully, there's some nice walks for me and Josh mm. to do. Hopefully, the internet's going to be good. Check the, the antenna, is there a thing that way then? Well, I just turned it away from the bridge. Ah, um, the only thing we have here is a train track, but it seems to be a bit of a quiet one. But yeah, it's a lovely spot, absolutely lovely. And yeah. he's just putting his feeders out. Feeders going out, but it's a very short hedge. They've cut the hedges a lot on a lot of the canals this year, so I've just got to try and find somewhere that they can, yeah. And we've um, put the signs out. Mm -hmm far as I can to the bridge because if they come around there with dogs well I think it's very very quiet so yeah. I think we'll be okay. Nice the tow buff has been pretty terrible along here which is a good sign for lack of footfall but it's we're been redone here for some reason I don't know why. Um, had lots of um lots of comments uh, um through Facebook and YouTube thank you so much for your support everybody yeah, thanks, everyone. you've been so kind all of you and everybody loves the kittens we love mm. them we've fallen in love with them already Herbie and Ash yeah. and um, I have told a lot of people that we're not not even letting the cats out in busy areas anymore because we can't go through that heartache again so that's what we decided to do isn't it Josh mm. but uh, we, we <laughs> As you can see, we didn't stop at the water point because, yeah, that one's gone as well, apparently. Um, yeah. Yeah, the, the landing for it has completely fallen apart. So yeah. we couldn't get water there either. Troy, Troy Witch Basin, there would have been a queue because yeah. all the hire boats were leaving. What were we saying? <laughs> it's been about like, two hours. No, because we ba the battery went on the camera. Mm. Um, yeah, just did a right. lovely spot here. Yeah, we said all that, I think. Um, Beautiful spot. We've got to be here about, well, it's Wednesday today. We'll probably be here till next Tuesday. Yeah. Andy's, Six days. Ooh. Andy's got to work. We've got to pick the car up tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that it's done. We've got to, we've got to cycle. It's about eight miles. We've got to cycle, so, yeah, and then we've got to walk. We're... We still don't know if it's going to be Seven miles, isn't it? Yeah. Cycling five miles, locking the bike up at Audi's. And then we're walking the rest the, the next two miles because it's the roads and stuff is in the middle of Worcester. Um, so we're hoping when we pick it up, it'll be done. But the trouble yeah. is, I think they probably shut at five, so we're going to have to ring them at three, see mm. if anything's happened. If it's not, we'll have to yeah. go and pick it up. We've got to pick it up anyway, whatever, if they've done it or not. Well, maybe if they're, they're shutting at five and it's not done at three, we're still, it's going to take two hours to get there anyway, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. And if they finish, just tell them to leave the car outside. Yeah, Maybe. they won't do that though, because you've got to pick the keys up. <laughs> yeah, put it on the wheel. <laughs> um, yeah, Dad's going away. Um, where's he going this time? He's going to... Exeter, isn't he? No, it's not Exeter. It's nearer to Sidmouth. It's called Otter's, Otter, Ottery St Mary's. Otter's Garden Centre, it's called, and it's near Sidmouth, I think, so it's Devon. Yeah. Uh, 
in between Exeter and Sid Sidmouth, I think. It's about an hour and a half. From, I looked how far it was from Elphicombe to see if Tony would go, go and see him and that on the Sunday. But it's about an hour and a half. The mm, trouble is... County, you look far it's yeah. very annoying because he's got to work Friday, Saturday. He has Easter Sunday off because mm. nowhere's open. And then he's got to work Easter Monday. Yeah. Which so he's annoying. got to stay down there and entertain himself on the Sunday. Mm. And he's not going to get back till Tuesday. No. And as you saw, the water points are both broke. Well, one doesn't exist, <laughs> and the other one is destroyed. Um, like we said in the vlog, we couldn't fill up because there was a queue to fill up when yeah. we left. Troy and we expected break. there was going to be two more water points, so plenty of opportunities yeah. to get water, but there wasn't. Um, so we're going to go to Ash. Ashwood Locks? Ashton. Ashton? Ashton? No, we've been through Aston Locks, oh. haven't we? Ashwood Lock, I think it is. Um, it's about five or six locks uh, up the Bell and Worcester. So we're going to turn around um, next time we cruise. We're going to head back that way up the Bell and Worcester. And then there should be a water point at Ashwood uh, Locks, which is where we stay for a couple more days and then we tackle tiny big locks oh, oh yeah let's say it's a nice day i'm not doing it if it's not a nice day yeah oh just an overcast day actually not too hot we want it just perfect mm. not windy we we're struggling to do much. the locks today didn't we oh the droitwich canal mm. is beautiful but the locks yeah. are, the gates are so heavy and the paddles are so yeah. they're so um hard aren't they but on the last on um, the staircase one we just done, which was great. We had volunteers on there. So it was a staircase. Oh, three staircase. locks. Oh, three locks. But they had pounds or side pounds. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, but Mum, <laughs> I told Mum about it because I was doing the first lock by myself. I told Mum, well, it's like Watford locks, Mum. You need to put the pound water in first because you've got a little separate pound paddles. You need to make sure it's equalised, so the water in the pound is equal with the water in the lock. Um, and you can see because it stops, the level just stops going. And then mum, uh, the volunteer shouts at mum, not angrily or nothing. <laughs> he said, you've got to do them first. You've got, you got to do the, the, the pound paddles. Well, so the she's one she's that. The, the, oh, just done that. The right paddle, right uh, ground paddle for the lock, and he shouts at her that. Ooh. And then she goes over the lock and she starts trying to do the the left ground paddle and he's like no no the the pond paddles yeah. I was like, oh my god i just showed, told you mum god yeah um yeah that's funny but we got we done we done those anyway mm. it, with a bit of help from the volunteers there was a there was like a little wharf which had a tranlery and we could have got diesel there for 142. Yeah. But it wasn't open on Wednesdays. So Wednesdays is shut, so hopefully just Hopefully it's open on Tuesday when we go back that yeah. way. Yeah. I'm sure it will be. So 142, mm. a quite, we say now that's not bad, but yeah. we got the last what we paid on the fuel boat. That last would have been on the roads. Yeah. That's sure it should be on the roads. That would. That was expensive. That would be expensive on the road. Yeah, uh, bring back like eighty six p. Aston, um, Aston. Oh, bring back Aston. seventy odd p. Yeah. The devil. Has six. So when we when we bought the boat at Pyford Marina. Are you talking, Jay? The camera. The camera. It was sixty oh. sixty seven yeah, pence. When we bought the boat, sixty seven yeah, yeah, pence yeah. at Pyford Marina. God. Anyway, that's there it. Thank you very much for watching, Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I don't know where the kittens are. I think they've disappeared. They're out here, they're out. They've got the whole run, apart from my bedroom, of the boat. Mm. I've caught a chub, a roach, and a perch. Oh. A good fishing spot, but good. you're only going to be here one night. Lovely fishing spot. Shame we can't do a live um, mm. vid. We probably will do on this uh, canal, won't we? So they're all small yeah. at the yeah. moment, but it's di the diversity is great. Yeah. I can find my black glasses. Right, that's it. Please like and subscribe. Good boy. Yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.